Hey everyone, it's Friday and I have a new feature to show you. We're not gonna be releasing this for a few weeks, so we're shooting to have this out by the end of the year, sort of towards the end of the semester, um, so you can look forward to using this uh, in the upcoming semester. Uh, the change has to do with courses, and so we wanted to give you plenty of time to communicate with your faculty and staff about what's coming, uh, so let's take a look. You'll notice that the Info tab of courses is now called the Syllabus. The Info tab used to be a combination of information that some of it was student-focused, some of it was more for staff and faculty, and so we decided to break that out, and the Syllabus now is entirely focused on information that is for the student. Um, so it shows basic course information, some of the stuff that was there before, like meeting times, supplies, reading lists, uh, but then we brought the syllabus front and centers here. So uh, an instructor can come in and upload a file uh, that it contains the syllabus, and that file will be embedded right here on the page. So when a student comes and visits this page, they're going to see that syllabus embedded on this page, and they'll be able to read through that and see everything that they need to know about this course. Um, and then, uh, or they have the option to add content, which allows them to use a WYSIWYG editor, and instead of uploading a file, they'll be able to just create their syllabus right here on the page, uh, using all the options that are available in the WYSIWYG editor. Now, all of the settings that used to be available within the Info tab are obviously still available here on the course, but we move those down to the Settings section. So when we go to Settings, you'll see there are now three different tabs, Settings, Rubrics, and external LTI tools. So these are things that we felt like uh, are still important to the course, obviously, but don't need to be up front and center. Um, and so you're still gonna have access to all of the same settings that you had before. You'll just manage those through the settings tab. And we moved the add faculty and add teaching assistance options to the right-hand column here to make those uh, more easy to access. We also broke out a files section. So the files section is gonna to bring together files from all over the course. Uh, so typically instructors will uh, upload files in lessons, they'll upload them on assignments, and all of those files are now gonna be available in one place here so that students can come and access files from all across the course uh, easily in one place. And you can organize those files using folders, and when you uh, use the Add Files option, you'll also see that there's uh, an Import Files uh, option there. So it makes it easy to grab a bunch of files from a previous course that you taught and then move them up into this course. We're excited to release these changes to you here in the upcoming weeks. As always, we appreciate your feedback. So please get in touch with us via Populi Support.